Hi, this is Ka, and for today's video, I thought I could show you a few pages from my Hobonichi cousin and basically talk about why I'm glad that I journaled in my Hobonichi cousin this year. I don't do anything here, um, but this is my index page. I originally intended for this to be my index page, uh, but up until a few days ago, this was empty. I did not write in uh, what the pages were about, but I wrote this, I filled everything in for this video. If I hadn't done this for this video, I think I would have done this towards the end of December, but I think I would have done it for archiving purposes. Um, so I just did it earlier. And I filled in all the pages, what the pages were about, and we're here. And the empty boxes, uh, that means that the pages, the daily pages were actually empty, or it means that it was just an ordinary day i just journaled about just normal stuff and it wasn't nothing st really stood out so i kept it blank here graduate no 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 not graduate i sent in my thesis at the end of june so up until the end of june i was very i was not consistent in writing in the daily pages i was not consistent with my journaling so i have a lot of collections uh towards the front because I needed to fill up the empty pages. And I wish I had been consistent even when I was writing my thesis, but I thought like, if I have time to journal, I should be working on my thesis, things like that. So I didn't, but I wish I had. But starting in July, because I had sent in my thesis, I was much more consistent in journaling. And so I wouldn't, I don't journal every single day, like at the end of the day, but, you know, I might skip one or two days and then um, then I would sit down and journal about the past two or three days and I would write about what happened and things like that for that day. So each page would be filled. So I was much more consistent and we're. Um, I hope I can um, be more consistent, be consistent um, for the end of uh, November and December. Um, but going into why I'm glad I journaled, I so I made this collections page because um, I had this empty page. I had a lot of empty pages, so I filled one in with this topic. Uh, but basically, the biggest reason it's for the memories. Um, I ha I wrote down a lot about what happened, what we talked about, what what I thought about something, and not so much about feelings but i did write about my feelings if i had a bad day um things like that so and i go back i do like going back and reading and i have already have stuff that i had forgotten about and rediscovered after reading my entries so that's the biggest reason i the, for the memories and i am glad that i journaled for even if i was inconsistent for the first half I am really glad that I persisted and continued with the second half and yeah and I wrote down like stuff we talked about too between like family friends and um, other friends at the university things like that so I'm really happy and um, and I read I discovered the importance of photos so I have a thermal printer and a Canon selfie which prints colored photos and so I realized that having photos, it's really nice to go back and look at because I don't really, uh, if I have that saved on my app in my phone, there's no context, you know, behind it. So even if I have a photo of our family when, you know, years ago, there's no context on why I have that photo and things like that. So being able to print that and write about it, I think adds a lot more context to that photo and much more interesting it makes that much more interesting so i do use my canon selfie for printing photos of people so family friends photos yeah i print with the canon selfie and for other stuff i use the thermal printer so everything else the thermal printer and yeah so for memories and just a few memories that I wanted to talk about. First is the YouTube Partner Program. 
Um, I did journal about that in every, each time something related to this program happened. So I have a general overview. I joined the YouTube Partner Program in April, on April 20th. And I, I mentioned this YouTube Partner Program because this took a long time and I did not know this would take this long. So I joined the YouTube Partner Program on April 20th. And then the Google AdSense letter came on June 27th. And this might have taken this long because I was just slow at entering in information, things like that. I don't know, but this took a long time. So I entered, I, the Google AdSense letter came. So I probably entered the code, I think. And then I uh, entered my bank account on October 18th. That took a few months. And I got my YouTube income for the first time on a October 23rd. Did I say October 18th? Yes, October 18th and October 23rd for the first time. But first, thank you so, so much for su subscribing, for watching my videos. I don't, I know I don't talk about this a lot, but I'm thankful every single day um, for people choosing to watch. Um, I hope it's interesting and informative. And I just try to show you like what, uh, how I, I do things because I really like watching how other people do things. And I, I really like listening to what's going on in their lives and things like that so thank you so much i just wanted to mention that here but yes this process took a long time and i didn't know that so i just wanted to mention that um that you know it took a long time and i have all that in here and i go in depth into in my daily pages um, and then another big thing that happened, I wrote about my defense. Not a lot, not as lot as I thought I would, but not as much as I thought I would, but I did write about that. And then when I had to hand in my thesis, I became very stressed and I wrote a lot here, surprisingly. So I wrote about how I sent my uh, thesis to the publishers and I fell in love with this publishers. Like they pointed out mistakes that I had made that I didn't realize that I made. So they, you know, I, that they were really nice. So if I have to use, uh, go to a publishers again, I would go there. 100% recommend. And then I had to submit the, my thesis online to the library. That was a difficult process too. Um, I was stressed. And then submitting the thesis, my thesis to the department office, um, that felt, it felt different, I think, because it was finally the end. Handing in the physical copies meant it was the end. So I think this felt more surreal than my graduation day. So this, fe this felt surreal, yes. Um, so I have that. And I also talk about my, like a presentation that I attended. I wrote a lot about, a lot for that. Um, and then I also attended a conference, sort of for the first time, Te technically not my first, but sort of my first. So I wrote about that as well. Um, so I have all of my memories and I'm really glad I did that. And second, why I'm glad that I journaled in my cousin. I think it pushed me to brainstorm and think creatively about how to fill the, fill up the empty pages and what collections to use and do. And so this has sort of pushed me to reflect as well. So because I was um, doing collections on like my favorite scenes or my um, list of planners I had so that made me reflect on how much I have and I did collections for YouTube ideas and the like confession series that I was doing and I did like 
three women I'm in inspired by, three men I'm, in in I'm inspired by, but I couldn't think of three. So I did more women I'm inspired by. And that for this too, why I'm glad I journaled and my cousin, I, that I came up with that um, to do a collection on that for an empty page. And I'm really glad I did that. And I have like the TN system series that I was doing. And I do want to continue, continue with that because I've realized that my the TN system is planner piece for me. So it's a system, not a size. I think I will never be able to achieve planner piece with a size, but I think I have reached planner piece with a system. So I'm really happy with my system. And I think I have to continue with that for a planner to be functional for me. So I want to, I do want to continue with the TN system series that I've been uploading on Instagram and more collections. I've written about quotes. I've done quotes too. quotes. Um, if I find a quote that I really like, I write it in that day for that day. So basically not a collection, but I do write quotes. So inspirational poems, insp like quotes about research, quotes about productivity. And I also wrote about what I journal about in my cousin. Um, this was why I'm glad that I journaled in my cousin here. And I also wrote about why I journal, what I journal about in my cousin. Um, and I have, a, I do have a page for my best 2023 planner decisions. And... Yeah, so these are the collections that I've done for empty pages in my cousin. And for April 29th. Okay, so you can see that I have empty pages like this. Um, but for, oh, I saw, you know, we saw um, from the index that for April 29th, I had the best 2023 planner decisions I've made. Planner slash journal stationary decisions. So number one, journaling in my cousin and using pictures here. Um, that is the best decision I've made, planner journal-wise this year. Um, number two is staying in my standard in, in one setup for months um, continuously. Uh, wait, that's number two. Using pictures um, in, for my journaling pages. That's yes. So three, um, staying in my standard TN in one setup four months so that I have the majority of the year in one book and I am very glad that I did that because I have one year in one book but hands down like the best planner decision I've made this year is to journal in my cousin and you know journaling in one book so that's one, using pictures, three, stay, uh, staying in one setup, in my standard TN setup for months. And then four, using a bullet journal system for my EDC. So I have, I used Freely Planned. My standard setup is basically a Freely Planned standard TN size. Um, this is for my freelance work stuff, and this is my reference insert, and it's also a freely planned notebook. And, um, basically, I got my freely planned package, too. I have the A5 freely noted, and I ordered more of, of the standard TN size freely planned, just in case. Um, because I have my um, passport EDC set up for the first half of 2024, but I didn't think about the second half yet, so I thought I might need to go back to a standard TN size, so I had ordered together. So I got this. So I've been using um, this for my... EDC and basically um, this is a freely noted but um, it's also part of the freely planned at the back it's just grid paper Tomo River paper and so 
I have all of my content and design planning and info also in my freely planned and my weekly pages in the freely planned as well in one freely planned so i'm able to have everything in one book as well for my edc not just like the whole year in one book but all the different parts that i need in one book so i think that's why i'm going for a essentially a bullet journal for next year too um, I, I have the pa passport size freely noted, freely noted, yes, and a pocket size freely planned that I cut down for my reference insert. I am glad I did that. And so these are the four um, best planner slash journal decisions that I've made in 2023 this year. So that's that and having why I'm glad I journaled in my Hobonichi cousin, having the blank pages, it pushed me to brainstorm and think creatively on how I can fill those pages with collections and other random ways. So that's my index and here so i have to journal for yesterday today's friday and it does it is getting very it is getting difficult to write on the left hand side because um, of this bump but sometimes i take it out and make it flat so maybe going like that and writing but i don't really do that i just persevere and go work with the bump but it is getting um there's this big bump now because i've been posted pasting a lot of um photos a lot of ephemera using the thermal printer a lot it do, has created this bump so i just wanted to mention that as well so this is um, my Hobonichi cousin, my journal, and I haven't shown you like a lot uh, of the pages, but just I wanted to explain why I'm really glad that I journaled in my Hobonichi cousin and why I'm continuing this for 2024. Thank you so much for watching.